All right, welcome everybody to another mixing video. Today actually isn't going to be focused on any mixing, but this is a topic that um, a lot of people have asked me about actually, and something that a lot of people have said that they wanted to to see. And uh, this topic is how do I make my videos here on YouTube? Um, and it's pretty simple, but it takes a little bit of uh, messing around on your computer to figure it out. Because uh, the thing is, it's easy to capture your voice and your screen, um, but it's not so easy to capture the audio from your your DAW. Um, but with with a couple programs, it's pretty easy. And uh, before I show anything, I should mention that I'm running Windows 10. So um, I don't know if any of this will apply to you Mac users. So I apologize for that. But for anybody who's uh, running a DAW on Windows 10, can use my method. Um, I'm sure that for you Mac guys, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of videos on YouTube. I'm sure, and um, I know that Mac itself, or I'm pretty sure that Mac itself has some sort of uh, like wraparound ASIO thing where you can uh, route your your audio into a screen capture program like this. And that's basically what you have to do is you have to uh, you have to use like a wraparound program. So um, let me first start off by saying uh, the the screen capture program that I use is OBS, and I use the classic one, not the uh, not the studio version, just the original OBS. And um, I'm gonna open it up so you can see uh, so you can see that it's capturing the screen here. Um, if I go into settings. Um, you could see that uh, under here, under audio, where it says desktop audio device, I have selected speakers, universal audio, Apollo Twin, USB duo, and that's my interface. Okay, so all my audio from my desktop or anything that plays through my computer goes through there. Um, microphone auxiliary audio device, I have disabled. And uh, I checked force microphone auxiliary to mono because if you don't do that, um, what happens is it tries to play a mono file or a mono source in stereo. So you'll end up having your voice on one side of the headphones. And that's very annoying. Um, and then for video, I just have my, uh, my graphics card selected here. Pretty easy on the OBS side. Um, and so that's that'll give you anything that's playing through console and um, anything like YouTube videos or whatever. Uh, so you can see the meters here on console um, and that'll be played into OBS. Um, I'll tell you why this is muted in a second here. Um, so next let's go into our, uh, see where it says speakers here, the little speaker icon. Um, go into play, right click it, and we'll go into playback devices. So you can see that my default device in here is uh, my interface once again. And same with recording. Uh, it's my, my interface. Okay, so real simple there. Um, and I'll leave uh, links in the description to all these things. So the real thing that you have to have to, to make this work with your DAW um, because from what I've shown you right now, you could use this for like, if you were playing like a PC game or something like that, um, it pretty much anything except for a DAW, which is what I do, right? So you have to get this program called voice meter and I use the voice meter banana version, but there's an even, uh, there's an even less in detail version of this. But this is kind of, uh, I use this because it has a gate, it has a compressor, it has some EQ. Um, and I, I really have to use the gate because um, I'll demonstrate it right now. Uh, I'll back off from the mic and watch the, the meter in the UAD console versus the meter here in my voice meter. Notice how there's still noise on the uh, that's being picked up from the mic, but see the gate uh, makes it to where that's inaudible. So if you watch my old videos, I was using the old version of voice meter, and that's why it was so noisy, and uh, my mic didn't have a high pass filter on it either, so it had a lot of low end rumble, and it was just really kind of annoying. Um, so 
once again on here you have to uh, select mono for your mic source and all I do is for my hardware input um, I just select my interface again so line universal audio Apollo twin so real simple and then you have to select the hardware out because you want to be able to monitor what's coming from your interface so I uh, monitor from my my Apollo twin okay so what this ends up being is this is like a, a an extra mixer that will route your sound to your interface as well as your DAW so this might be a little bit confusing but once I show you in the DAW it'll it'll make more sense so when I when I uh, have this set up if I just start playing this there'll be nothing coming through because if I go to my device setup um, my VST audio system the driver that I'm using is my Apollo twin which um, that won't be picked up but you can see in here I have a voice meter virtual ASIO so if I switch to that then everything will be picked up and you can see there's a lot of latency this isn't for tracking or anything like that um, but this is this is just for uh, wrapping the audio or uh, splitting the audio basically what voice meter does is it acts as a splitter that's the best way I can describe it um, it splits the audio so where it sends your your uh, audio from your DAW to your headphones or your speakers and also into OBS okay I hope that makes sense um, <laughs> I uh, really don't know perfectly how to describe this but basically three things get OBS go to audio set your desktop audio up to uh, your interface okay make sure that in your your devices your interface is also um, your default device get voice meter and um, Select your hardware input and output to be your interface. And the fourth thing, I know I said three things, but the fourth thing is to go in and select the driver as voice meter virtual ASIO. So real easy. Um, since I was a little confusing, uh, you might have to replay this a few times. I'm sorry, I've never had to describe this, but I really wanted to do it for you guys because a lot of people have been asking about this actually. Um, I've gotten several messages on how to do this. I've gotten several comments on how to do this. And um, I have figured I'll try my best to show it because even when I, uh, when I first tried to do this, uh, it took me a little bit of tinkering. And um, I read somewhere, because there's lots of uh, information about this online if you Google it, but um, I read somewhere that you have to have these... Uh, virtual cables and route the cable into OBS and um, to from my experience I didn't actually have to do that um, I just use voice meter and then split the audio and uh, just make sure that in OBS my default device is my interface so I hope that wasn't too confusing um, if you have any more questions on this go ahead and feel free to comment Go ahead and feel free to uh, to send me a message on YouTube, or if you have me on Facebook, you can uh, you can send me a message on there. But uh, I, I really hope that this was helpful. If it wasn't, I'm really sorry. So please like this video if you if you if this helped you. If you thought I was just a stuttering, rambling moron you can give it a thumbs down that's okay because i know that this was very tough for me to describe how to do this and uh, if you really really do like this video please subscribe i would greatly appreciate that um i've i just did a video on reaching 500 subscribers which i think i'm closer to like five 560 now or something like that and uh yeah it's just really really incredible so thank you guys very very much Thank you for watching this, and I hope that you have a wonderful day.